A viral video has surfaced that shows a woman posing as if she was boarding up stores in Santa Monica before snapping a photo and driving away without further assistance or action. Twitter users were quick to flag this video as just one example of performative activism sweeping social media this week. What's going on? It's your boy, Andy Lawani, here to tell you all of your social media news daily and tell you everything you need going on online on the internet. Be sure to like and subscribe. Obviously, you know the drill to keep up with all of your social media news daily. Let's talk about everything that's going on with BLM or Black Lives Matter and some people are just being a little performative and not really doing their most or faking that they're doing action. So this video shows a woman posing with a drill next to a construction worker and actually taking the drill, acting like she's assisting him and boarding up a local business on 3rd Street Promenade in Santa Monica, California. After the picture is taken, she thanks the worker while handing the drill back to him and rushes to her Mercedes SUV with her boyfriend photographer and leaves the scene. The person filming the incident can be heard yelling, boyfriends of Instagram and good job guys, BLM. Now the person who actually took this video on June 1st is asking that this individual or this woman not be doxxed on media because it really takes away from the movement as a whole. The owner of the video was quick to point out issues with this woman's action, saying, quote, the problem is that one, she's using this terrible situation to promote herself instead of the man who's actually helping, and two, completely insensitive to racial class tensions. Influencers, use your platform for actual good, not the perception of good. Another user replied to the video stating, quote, you realize this is what 90% of white folks protesting think. It's more about making themselves feel good than any movement. Now this goes back to a conversation of really if people are performing or really just appeasing to a really act like they're in a social movement, but they're not. Some people are simply posing for photos without actually making any concrete action towards change. We don't know what this woman was going to do with the photo or how she was going to caption it, but by posing with the drill and simply handing it back, the woman appears to not have made an effort to rebuild the community or help acknowledge why the protests are happening. Another user, Laura Fitzpatrick, replied to the original video with her own, showing a woman posing in front of vandalized T-Mobile stores for a picture before walking away. She captioned this video, adding to this thread of white people being a problem. This girl is making her boyfriend take a picture of her in front of a smash t-mobile <gasps> oh my god but not everybody saw this photo shoot as wrong or insensitively as a problem one twitter user saying am i the only one not seeing what's wrong here she wants to document what's going on another user replies with you can document something important without making yourself the center and subject of a photo a lot of people actually see these white women posting and posing for these videos on their instagram feed but not actually backing or taking any action about the riots protests or causes that are happening. One Twitter user said the videos, quote, are wrong because it's a byproduct of a larger issue at hand and she wants to use it as her next photo op and this is not a joke. It's a sad issue. Certain things aren't okay. You wouldn't use a funeral for a photo op. A lot of people are calling again this performative action and really does not help the Black Lives Matter movement or BLM as a whole. If you're going to get active, be sure to also educate people. It's your best to educate people and shed light on the scenario of what the full truth is happening at this moment. But for more social media news daily, be sure to go to trending.com. Follow me at Andy Lawani and follow out with trending for more social media news daily. We'll see y'all later.